Yeah, I, I realized a long time ago that Ashmuthara has a, uh, a very rare pair of glasses. They're rose-colored. And he only sees good in people. And when you wear those rose-colored glasses, sometimes you get burnt by evil people because he's not looking for that. So it creeps up and grabs you. Uh, he'll never change. And when you say back to basics, Ash now, knowing what he knows, whatever that might be, he knows that somewhere along this path, the last couple of years, little things that kind of clicked in his head, now he knows, okay, that's what that really meant. He had to take his glasses off for a minute, and he goes, okay, that's what that meant. The next time, that's what that meant. So he has a picture of the bad area, however long it might have been. Probably given clues, but he had the glasses on. He looked at the positive in everybody. When somebody first comes on or somebody first meets Ab, he digs as hard as he can to find the good in that person. That's who he is. I don't want that to change. Even though he got burnt, got beat up, it, it happens. But, you know, if um, if you don't take a calculated risk, you become average. You can never move ahead if you don't take that calculated risk. And during that calculated risk, especially if you have those very special glasses on, you're going to get burnt. You are going to get burnt. Now, did he learn? Absolutely. And when we find out, we're all going to learn. It happened to all of us. Because believe it or not, we're all drawn in here by caring about someone else more than we care about ourselves. That's why we're here. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what country you're from. Think about everybody that's here. And what do we have in common in here? We saw them passing from the heart, not from the eyes. Because logically, it probably didn't make sense to people. And that's good for me. Because it did for me and it did for a million four hundred thousand other people. And that's why we're here. So as if we're following him, we understand him because we're like him. Now, is he extremely caring and loving and looking for good? Yes, absolutely. Do I want him to change? No. Do I feel bad that bad things happen? Absolutely. It, it was gut-wrenching. It's like it happened to a family member. Am I mad over it? Yes. If I, if I was 20 years younger, I'd be body slamming some people somewhere. I can tell you that right now. But he knows what happened because I don't have those glasses, okay? They're a little bit shaded, but they're not rose-colored. I love people. I believe in people, but I don't, I'm not at that level. And I'm glad he is. That's what I love him for because he always looks at the good in everything. He doesn't even understand evil. It's a different language to him. So when it haps, happens to him, he's so caught off guard. Wait, that, that couldn't have happened. Why, why would somebody do that? He doesn't get it. It's sad, but it's true. So I'm glad he's that way. Now, what do we do in, in return? Well, he's about to make all of us the best marketers in the world. You're gonna push a button, it's all on automated, you point here, point here, click, 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 and you take years and years of trying to figure out this moving target and you get it in automated, in automation. That's where we're at. All we were ever asked to do while he's clearing the land, remember, he didn't build a business. He had to clear the area before he built it because it's never been done before. He couldn't go in a book. He couldn't look it up. He couldn't go to other business people and say, hey, I want to build a business like this. For one thing, they'd say, you're absolutely insane until they saw his glasses. They said, oh, okay, I get it. But anyway, he built this business, clearing the land, getting rid of the landmines, making the, the road flat so we could walk on smooth ground in a sunny day. All we need to do is keep the faith, follow him. He will give instructions. And we need to be good soldiers, men and women, and do what he needs done 
to push this thing over the, the goal line. And when we do, we all score. We all score. Whatever I can do, whatever Mike Ellis can do, Dan Street, and anybody else that I can share with you to help you go get the extra point, kick a field goal, whatever little points, I, we're going to offer that to people. I want everyone to win. I failed as a marketer because I worry too much about the people that we brought in can't do what we're doing. It was a horrible feeling. First, it was the, the, the race to learn. And then when you learn, you find out what you know doesn't feel that good. Because at that point, now you treat people as 101, 102, 103, 104, 1001, 1000. That's how you treat them. You talk to their face, but you can't mean what you say. Not in MLM, I'm sorry. A lot of people get mad at me when I say it. They got mad at me when I said it when I was in MLM. But it's the facts. Here, Ash Mufara built a business for himself and scaled it so all of us can have the same business. So if you want to know what Ash does, you're getting that right now. You all are all going to own your own business exactly how Ash would build it for himself, even better. So we're back to basics because he went back and he saw these little spurts, knowing what he knows now. Ah, oh, this is when that started. And because he was smart, he might have rose colored glasses. He might love people too much. He might trust people too much, but he's not stupid. And he went back and said, okay, we got to go back to here. And like Mike Ellis said, I did hear that part of it. When we go to the next chapter, we're going to be blown away. Because through that mistake or through those issues, he knows what good is. He was he was unsatisfied probably for two years. But he because he loved people and he trusted people and believed they meant the best for the company. He held on as long as he possibly could. That's who Ash is. The least we can do is march behind him. We can at least be the wind beneath his wings. And that's absolutely what I'm going to do. And I don't care what he does or what he wants to do. I've been doing this for a long, long time. There is no one on the planet that would do what Ash is doing for us right now. No one. 